Hello. Sorry to cut the song like that. Brother, we have a problem. Uh, my comments? I can't motherfucking see them. Um, I don't know what is happening. Um, I'm looking at y'all's comments. Thank you, Ash, for the heart meet. Uh, sorry if I'm missing anybody, uh, sending gifts right this second. Um, I'll see them when I rewatch the stream later, because the stream is recording the comments and stuff, and the gifts and all of that. Thank you, Mads, for the heart meet. And I'm looking at what the recording on the screen right now, and I'm also looking at my phone. Um, I think I'm gonna try to reset the live. Uh, thank you, Dina, because the chat won't show on my actual computer and uh i'm not gonna be able to fucking see the comments unless i hold my phone like this the whole time and then uh tiktok's been messing with jesse too like what the hell brother because um i mean while i can what is a vault invitation what is this what is the vault in the vault top tier gifters can unlock and send exclusive gifts Blah, 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 blah. I never know what the hell's going on. Um, yeah, TikTok's been acting funny. <sighs> okay, I guess I'm gonna try to restart the live. If I can't, if the comments still don't show, I'm gonna just set my phone up right in front of me and I might miss more comments than usual, but just know. And also, if I don't see like a gift come across or something, just know I rewatch the streams and I will see it later um which i know is not as fun we're just gonna hope that restarting fixes this so be right back love you though fuck it's not working oh my god oh my god okay um um uh, okay so here's why would my live not even my it's saying live has ended when I look on my own page. Sis. Thank you, Ashley. I also just lost followers going live. I saw that. <laughs> Are you fixed? No, I'm not sure. Let me look in the TikTok Discord really quick to see if um Thank you, Tommy, for the chili. Uh let me look in the TikTok Discord to see if this is like a a known issue right now. Um cuz what in the hell is going on? Hold on. Uh uh um Um, troubleshooting. Ugh, I don't even, there's too much to sh shift through. Um, my jaw dropped when she said that. When who said what? I can't even scroll up through the comments right now. I cannot even scroll up through y'all's, oh wait, I can scroll up on my phone. Uh... If the tick thing, if the tick finity thing is on, mods can let you know anything important. Ooh, thank you, Mariah, for the pumped up, y'all. Please, especially. Okay, so this is about to be a really um difficult stream for me to do now because of this comment situation. I'm about to set up the tick finity. That's a good idea, y'all. Try to not use the mods. Try to not use the voice to text unless um you know, it's important just so it doesn't get overwhelming. I'm going to, I don't even know how I'm about to do this. Okay. You losing followers because of a technical issue. Yeah, the comments still aren't working. No, so I have them on my phone right here where so I signed into my second account. So I'm seeing like what y'all would see basically. The only problem is, is I can't see very well. And like, like, you see how far out my arm already is? I still have to lean forward to then set my phone down. So I'm definitely about to be squinting and try to read y'all's comments. Also, um, as far as, like, people sending gifts, usually how I see the gifts is different than how y'all see. So y'all see it pop up for, like, two seconds. Thank you, Aaron. 
how I usually see the gifts in the chat is they stay there. So I, whenever I look over, even if I missed it the first time it came across the, the screen, I can still see it. You know what I mean? Um, but now I'm probably going to miss some of the ones that come across the screen, like right when they happen. So I'm going to feel, I'm a type of person that I really like to say thank you if you send a gift. So if I don't see it tonight, whenever it happens, just know that I rewatch these streams and I'll see it later. Thank you, Cassie. And I'm going to try my best to like read the comments on my phone right here and also play. Um, so nobody think that I'm ignoring y'all's comments or anything. It's probably just going to be one of those nights where I'm talking and playing a lot more than reading comments. Um, but yeah, last thing I'm going to say about that is, uh, thank you everybody who is sending gifts and helping me in this competition right now. Um, I'm going to check to see where I'm at before we get really deep into it. Uh, thank you, Lisa, for the galaxy. Thank you so much. So, so much. I'm 17th in the competition right now. Um, I was 13th yes yesterday, so I've definitely moved back a little bit. Um, thank you, Kelsey, for the hearts. Um, and Lisa for the hat and mustache. Okay, I'm about to get into playing the game. So, like I said, things that I miss right now... I'm sorry for this technical difficulty. I will see it all, all the comments, everything when I rewatch the stream tomorrow. Okay, love you. Thank you for the understanding. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Melissa. Okay, so something I want to show you before we get into Love Island that I noticed. So I think it was yesterday when we were playing, we saw that Jack Sparrow got remarried. And I thought I recognized this heifer. Okay, thank you, Pretty Center. Um, and Tommy, I thought I recognized this heifer that he got married to, uh, Quail, okay? Let me just show you this really quick. I don't know if y'all can see her down here. It says Quail Sparrow now, that they got married, unauthorized. You know who I recognize? You know where I recognize that hell from? Hold on, let's come over here. Thank you, Ab, for the hearts. Uh... She was the motherfucking... Okay, so I made a TikTok video about this. She was the prisoner that Ryan Anderson, Gypsy Rose's ex, went and married. So he went up to the jail, found her, brought her home and married her. That was supposed to be his happily ever after. You're telling me she left him for Jack Sparrow? <laughs> yes, I've got a quail in my purse. Let's... Ooh, purse, purse, purse. Gonna put it in my purse. I've got a quail in my purse. But you're telling me that she left Ryan <laughs> Jack Sparrow? She's gonna be pregnant next, watch. What I missed her was a lag for me. Uh, just talking about this tea right here. Uh, I've got a snail in my purse. <laughs> he can't catch a break. I would too. You know what, Ashley? And we ain't never not been on the same page. I swear to God, me and Ashley are always on the same page. Um, I got money for bail in my purse. Okay. And Cogsworth got married, right? Yes, to Sparkplug's mama. Mm-hmm. I got a beach whale in my purse. Yes, Kelsey. Also, shout out to our top three gifters right now. Yo, Kelsey and Britter Smitter. Thank you so much. Um, any hiddle. Let's go, let's go on to, uh, Love Island now. Purse, purse, purse. I'm gonna put it in my purse. I've got a duck in my purse. Thank you, Keegan, for the corgi. God, I love that name. God, I love that name. Thank you, Rachel, for the heart me. I love the name Keegan. Ugh! It just is so satisfying to hear. And, like, say, too, Keegan. Mmm. Like, you know when you finish a book? <laughs> like, it's just like, I don't know. You know when you finish a puzzle? That's, like, how the, the A-N names are for me. Reagan. Finishing a puzzle, bro. Satisfying. Or, like, Whenever you're, like, erasing something on, like, like a app, like a paintbrush app, and you erase all of it, that type of satisfying. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jay, I get to watch it live? Yes! Thank you, Jenny, for the heart me. Um, so, last week, 
Um, I have a Ren at the end of mine. Sharon. Yeah, Sharon. There's so many names I like. There's so many names I like. But the, the, I just always love hearing the, like, Tegan, Reagan, Keegan. Ooh! Well, I don't know what it is about those names. Thank you, Ella, for the gym gun! Ab remembered that <laughs> the tick that he's on. The gifts that send the sounds, the four of them are really big, not gonna lie. So, but it's like the Fire Phoenix, the Pegasus, the Universe, and the Lion. And then the other one is the Gem Gun. I'm gonna switch them out eventually, uh, whenever I get more familiar with the Tickfinity. Any hoodle. Uh, here we are. We're loading in at 2.44 a.m. Uh, Dory got kicked off last week. Oh, and there she disappeared! Um, uh, we did not add someone new on, um, but some of our couples did- Here, I'm gonna try to move over my phone a little bit, because I can't- Okay, this is about to be a problem. I'm trying to put my phone in a spot where it's not blocking anything for me to play the game. Um, ow! Oh! Oh! I didn't even tell you guys! Thank you, Unicorn Farts, for the hearts! Um, can I show y'all something really quick? Let me turn my brightness up, too. Um, so, well, actually, I had to tell you a couple things. Not to be annoying, but we actually need to chat for a second before we get too deep into this. First of all, I got a new piercing today. Well, okay, I got a couple of new piercings today. Um, this is actually not a new piercing. It, I got my nose stretched because I've already had my nose pierced before. And, um, so she stretched it basically to where a piercing could fit inside of it again. And then my ears, I got my second hole. I don't like this earring that's in there right now. They didn't have a ton of different options. Um, but I was like, you know, this will heal up in six weeks or whatever and I'll be able to switch it out. But I do really like my nostril being pierced again. Um, I think that's really... Cute. I got my stuff from yesterday. I hope you love it. I think I'm going to be ending my septum era here soon and switching. Once this heals, I think I'm going to switch to a hoop. But I'm not 100% sure. If I do take my septum out, I'm going to put a placeholder in there so I could always put septum piercing back in. You know what I mean? It's a little crooked. What's crooked? Your septum piercing? Hoop girlies unite. They're very cutie. You talking about my septum or your septum? My piercing. Oh! Well, your septum, you just gotta twist it around. Like, bring it around town. Like, I just slide it around all the time. Oh, no, I'm late. Oh, you're fine! But you should know, Caitlin. I can't really see... Well, I can see the comments. I'm reading them on my phone. So, I can't see them the way I usually can. So, I'm... Things are a little fucked up today. Also, next thing I'll tell you about... So, I had a do okay, well, let's, let's, okay, I'm gonna watch The Sims while I tell you all this story from this morning. So, I had a terrifying doctor's appointment this morning. And y'all know every single time I come on here talking about I went to a doctor, it's something horrifying. First, earlier this year, I go to the ass doctor, and he gives me no warning, talking about, okay, lay on your side, uh, spreads my cheeks, hand gloved, no lube, probes me, okay, and it's like, yeah, we'll do surgery on this asshole. And then I have asshole surgery, thinking I'm just gonna wake up with the most beautiful asshole in all of the tri-state area. No, 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 no. I wake up, first of all, it looks extraterrestrial. Second of all, it hurts like a motherfucker. I can't even, bro, we're not even gonna talk about shitting. I couldn't even fart without feeling like I'm about to pass the fuck out, okay? But then, shitting was a whole nother problem. I had to go to the ER and be like, oh my god, I can't shit. And they were like, girl, this is psychological. Took me like 10, 11 days. I can't even remember. Fix the kitchen. The kitchen is fine! So then... That was so foul. Oh my god, it was so terrible. It was so terrible. Everything is broken, actually, Marcy. I'm tripping. Everything is broken. Anything else broken? Look at Orange Blossom trying to get in here. Orange Blossom's sitting by all three dudes right here. She ain't missing an opportunity. So then, you know, I finally shit whatever. My asshole has healed since. God bless. 
Now, let's go to the new, the Shitterilla Burst is iconic. Let's go to the new Doctor's Point of Today. So, oh damn, she's really around all the dudes. All the guys are coming over here to check out them some Orange Blossom. So, um, I know my neighbors, if, uh, they're hearing, listening to me right now, they're probably like, what is this girl's deal? Anyways, so about a year and a half ago, two years ago, something like that, I don't know the exact time frame, I went in for my pap smear, and I had an abnormal resu result, to which she was like, you are going to need a colposcopy, okay? If you don't know what colposcopy is, it is where they basically kind of do the same thing as a pap smear, but they take a more intense look at the inside your inside mansion, okay? And they put this, like, dye on it. Was, who, what's happening over here? Was she giving it, is Nala giving, oh. Um, but they put this dye in there, they're like burns, and then they have to sometimes snip a piece of your inside mansion out. With you conscious, alive, able to feel, okay? So anyways, as one does, I've been pushing off that appointment this whole time. Now, let's remember, a couple weeks ago, thank you, Courtney, for the chili. A couple weeks ago, I had an appointment um, with my gynecologist because what was going on, y'all remember, I was having tit leakage, okay? So my left tit was leaking a couple of weeks ago. So I go into the doctor. And I'm like, hey, do I have fucking breast cancer? Um, thank you, Kirsten, for the rave dance, because I'm like, you know, if there's cancer living in my tit, I want to know. You know what I mean? So anyways, I am having this tit leakage in my left tit, and I go to the doctor. Turns out, she, you know, she, like, does it like she's making biscuits on my tit. And then she's like, um, you don't have breast cancer. Uh, this is from you doing jujitsu. Basically, doing jujitsu, somebody gave me a tit injury that made my tit leak. Yeah, so anyways, while I'm at this appointment, she says, uh, sis, whatever happened to your colposcopy? We still haven't done that. And I was like, bitch, because I don't want to. And she was like, do you want cervical cancer? And I was like, no. So then, that was a couple weeks ago, today was the day of the colposcopy. The day where we have the... Justin is here, Pixie. No! Justin, go away! We're having girl time! God, every time I talk about my lady mansion, Justin shows up. Anyways, also Justin, wait, no, Justin, don't leave yet. Are you having the problem too? You can't see your comments? Am I the only one who can't see my comments right now? I need him, okay, somebody tell me in the if you, if he ends up answering that question, because I can't see my fucking comments, okay? Uh, so, anywho, today I have the day of the colposcopy. Um, I go in, and, uh, they're like, when, first of all, when the nurse is talking to me real sweet-like, I'm like, oh. He can help with the comments. My TTS has been messing up lately, no comment issues. I'm talking about on the TikTok live studio. My, you know how like your comments pop out so you can see like when people send you gifts and your whatever. Like I literally have the stream pulled up on my phone right now so I can see comments because the actual live chat will not show up on my thing. Um, anywho, when there's like the nurse being real sweet to me and getting me to sign consent papers before I get something done, I'm like, oh, this is about to hurt like a motherfucker. So of course I go to Discord. I'm like, have any of y'all had this done? And, you know, several people are like, yeah, girl. Um, and I'm over here about to have a panic attack. I also text my mother, who has had this done. And she's like, prayers for you. This is about to hurt like a motherfucker. And I was like, oh, my God. She said it was the most painful thing she's ever experienced. And she said they had to clip three parts of the inside of her lady mansion. Okay. That sounds like torture. It literally sounds so medieval, right? So, anyways... Uh, my doctor comes in, which, by the way, my doctor is actually on, uh, TikTok. I kind of want to tell y'all who she is on TikTok, because she actually has a really popular doctor account on TikTok. Anyways, um, I don't know if I should say this or not. Anyway, she comes in, she's really cool. And, um, I'm telling her how I'm, like, really 
and they tell you to take Advil. I didn't even take the- I didn't even know that I was supposed to take ibuprofen or anything. I came in there, I'm raw dogging this, okay? No medication, whatever. Um, so, she's like, yeah, she explains the procedure to me. She's like, you know, we're gonna open you up, and I'm gonna put this dye in there, and you're gonna feel like a burning sensation, and then I'm gonna take a pixies around. She's like, and if I see any of the spots that look like they have the pre- Oh my god, okay, now, or Nani and- Timon, of course, they're gonna go woohoo. Are we even surprised? So, um, uh, they were okay doing this while you were bleeding too? And that's a great question, Jess. That's another fucking thing. I'm on my period right now. So, it's preferred that you're not on your period, but she was feeling confident that she could do it while I'm on my period, especially because I'm on day three. So, I'm really not bleeding very heavy anymore. Any hoodle. Um, so... She's telling me that she's gonna, like, spray, look around, and she's like, if I see any areas, you know, that have the bad shit, I'm gonna take a piece to biopsy it. And she's like, I'm gonna let you know, you know, before it happens, it's gonna be, like, a sharp pinch inside and everything, you're gonna feel some cramping, whatever. And I was like, oh, heaven. She's like, you're- and also, they had just given me this paper that says, you're not gonna be able to wear a tampon, you're not gonna be able to have sex, for have woohoo for six weeks, Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, hell. So then, you guys are the perfect company on my walks. Perfect. So then, um, 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 how have I already been running my mouth for 30 minutes? I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. And the thing is, I can't even do this super late tonight. So we might have to have a part two of Love Island tomorrow night. Uh, because how long I talk for, but any hoodle, so she, uh, is in there, and I'm just talking to her, we're talking back and forth, you know, me and my daughter, we like chit chat, and I'm just kind of pretending that I'm not there, she's looking around inside, and she's like, actually, girl, it kind of, like, I think, she didn't say it like this, but basically what she said was that my vagine was pristine, you know what I mean, Butterbean, so... She was like, I'm not going to have to clip anything in here. She said, but uh, the entrance to your actual cervix looks a little inflamed. So I am going to stick something like a little swab uh, in there, like into your cervix and swab inside because she can't see up in there. She was like, and I'm going to send that off to make sure it's all right. She was like, thank you, Amanda, for the shiny air balloons. Thank you so, so much. Christine Virginia knew something. <laughs> so, uh, she said she's gonna swap in there. Now, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. That was uncomfortable. When she went into the cervix, that was a bit uncomfortable. Um, I did get some cramps from that. Perfect mansion status. <laughs> um, so that was, like, the most uncomfortable part. But honestly, like, it only lasted, like, a minute. And she said, let me get a peek in there. <laughs> Now she said, okay, so this is what's going to happen if that, if anything inside of my cervix comes back as like precancerous or whatever. If that happens, they are going to have to do a procedure where they would put me to sleep and cut out all the bad stuff, right? But like I said, they would put me to sleep for that. So I think my pain shit is gone, is, is over. You know, I don't have to worry about them clipping inside, anything inside of my coochie. But she told me, she was like, honestly, everything looks really good. Uh, the test result must have been whatever, like, you know, wrong or whatever was looking funky. My body cleared out on its own and whatever. You got this girl, you're healthy. Yes! Thank you, Stephanie, for the heartbeat. So all that to say, don't be scared to go to the gynecologist. Uh, you know, keep up. Can y'all put some clothes on? Um, and what's crazy is I put on the censored mode. And they're, no, whoa, I just saw a ween. I put on the censored mode, and, you know, his ween was, Timon, I didn't know you were packing like that. Anyways, um, uh, Jesse here, try closing TTLS. I'm gonna, it's gonna pause your live and open it real quick. Hold on. Try closing TTLS. It's gonna pause your live and open it real quick. Mic fix. Okay. Justin has advice. Thank you. Check pin pixie. Okay, I just closed that. Mm. Oh, wait. 
Is it going to pause it? Okay, I closed the wrong thing. I closed TikFinity for a second. Um, you're saying to close the TikTok live studio? That was very delayed. Uh, I feel scared to close the live. It's not going to end the whole live if I do that. Justin's locked into this live. I've never exit closed out of my TikTok live studio in the middle of live. It's not going to end the whole thing. It won't end, but you gotta hurry back. Oh, hell, let me get ready. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, 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 okay, I'm ready to click the button again. Okay, BRB, let's hope that our screen will go black. Okay, one second. It says your live will end if you exit. It says exit live studio now, your live will end if you exit. Justin! You know what, whatever, it's fine, it's fine. I'll deal with this later. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do later. Um, anywho, can, Nani, can you put some clothes on? Oh my god, y'all are annoying. See, Timon put his outfit back on. He put his outfit back on. <laughs> I trust Justin, I do, but maybe mine just has like an up, like we're on a different update or something. Or maybe it's just my computer. I don't know. But it's telling me it's like, if you exit this, it will end the live. Um, thank you, Anastasia, for sending five subs. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Um, yeah, maybe mine's different. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I think it is. Because mine is saying that it will end the fucking live. Um, anywho, what are we doing? Um, what are you doing here, Snot Lout? With your reindeer hat. I love him. I'm, oh, thank you whoever just sent the duck on my head. Thank you so much. Um, Sorry I was late, girl. Oh, no, you're fine. You just missed me talking about my inside mansion. Thank you, Kelsey, for the hearts. Um, I'm going to replace this toilet. Oh, my God, is that Justin? Justin! And he showed up to the island in his bathing suit, too. It's so good to see. You know what? Talk of the motherfucking devil. Thank you, Kelsey, for the hearts. Thank you, Ninja. Thank you, Bird. Talk of... Speaking of the devil. Come right into Love Island, Justy Pooh. Come right in. Let's share some personal... De no, don't share some personal details. Don't do that. You know what? I wonder if I can add him to the house. I can't. Uh, swimsuit kind of matches the profile pic, too. <laughs> He just always shows up. Justin really said help is on the way, dear. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, um, we shared enough personal detail with him tonight. He only, I swear to God, I can be having the most like innocent streams ever. He only comes in when I'm talking about the pig sussy. You know what I mean? Every time. Every fucking time. Justin said, bring me on the island. Justin don't want to be on this island. Not on Woohoo Island. Uh, he said, goodbye. Yeah, look at him right now. He said, good day. Good day. Now, what is going on here? Okay, have y'all noticed that these two are starting to talk a lot? <gasps> it's my girl, Perry here. How are you, girl? Missed you. I loved playing Dress to Impress with you the other day. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Do a pickup line on her. Have y'all noticed that Nala and, uh, uh, Hiccup? Oh my god, he's talking about I can get you some red bottoms, girl. Okay. Alright! I love Paris's picture! And she's an Australian baddie, too, like Lisa. Give her a heartfelt compliment, you mean it. Give Nala the compliment. You know what, fuck it, embrace her. Embrace her! And he's feeling flirty right now. Do it, do it, do it. Thank you, Nika. Also, thank you guys for completing the. You know what? Um. <gasps> wait, what? Just, oh, and Minnie's coming in. Not her being. Oh my God, she said, "Girl, you know that is my man, right? You know that actually is my man, right?" You. She said, "You know he's been in my mansion, right?" You know that we be doing it on the regular, right? Mm. <laughs> the smile! <laughs> He's been in the mid.
in the seat. And that's a fact. No, and now he's trying to act all friendly. Like, it was just all, it was just friendly. It was all just friendly. Oh, oh. She said, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, and then her face went to a not smile as soon as she's right behind Nala. She said, motherfucker, I am going to kill you. She said, bitch, we are about to have a fucking problem. The way he better sleep with one eye open. <laughs> He's been in Minnie's clubhouse. Lord. <laughs> That's too funny. Her eye just might switch. <laughs> Yo, I'm setting up a new goal really quick. Um... Let's do the crowns, cause I'm Queen Pixie. Um, Princess Pixie. Minnie gives me red vibes, and that's a fact. <laughs> Minnie got a Nala like. Thank you, Unicorn Parts of the Little Crown. Thank you, Christy Lynn. Um, shout out to our top three gifters right now. Kelsey at number one. We have Amanda Bomb and Unicorn Parts. Um, thank you, Ty, for the Little Crowns. Thank you. Speaking of goals, we're close to 100K. Yay! Yes, I fear it. Many maybe more rich <laughs> than red. Thank you, Pissy for the little crown. I'm sorry, but this is too motherfucking funny. Too funny. Okay, what's happening now? These, I, I don't even like her. Thank you, Perry, for the manifesting. That was gorgeous. Okay, now he's switching up, talking about I don't even like her like that. <laughs> You don't even like not, be so fucking for real. Thank you, Mika, for the little crown. <laughs> Thank you, Kim, for the little crown. The way he is literally switching up right now. Oh my god. I hope she sleeps with one eye open too, because I fear Minnie is gonna is getting mad. <laughs> Thank you, Emily, for the little crown. Thank you. Also, if you came in late, just so y'all know, my stuff is fucked up today. I'm having to try to watch the stream on my phone while also playing. So if anybody sends any gifts or subs I don't see right now, I'll see it when I rewatch the stream. I'm just having a really bad technical difficulty with it. So thank you to everybody who is sending gifts and subs, and I love you so much. Thank you, Gina, for the little crown. Um... <laughs> Um, 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 what happened with Stephanie? What happened with Stephanie? I just try to scroll up. I'm scrolling up. He needs a little drama on the island, and that's a fact, Jimmy. Are you okay? Oh, he's about to piss himself. What happened with Stephanie? Somebody tell me. Somebody tell me. Her clapping right now. What muscatool is she is? Um, thank you, Perry, for the little crown. Who's calling Coco Ob's ass? Oh, it's Wreck-It Ralph. Now, Wreck-It Ralph never made it to the island. Thank you for another little crown, Paris. And more crowns. Hey, I heard you became friends with Hiccup. Yeah, they're friends. Oh, he's got the stripes. Ah, hell. Coco Ob done got the island stripes. Thank you, Fish McGee. They're actually called the Giggle Stripes. <laughs> Uncontrollable laughs are only funny for so long. Could you imagine getting <laughs> the giggle disease? <laughs> oh my god. No. Y'all, what's one thing you've laughed about for no... Okay, you know those things that for some reason, like the weirdest thing will make you laugh and you can't stop fucking laughing about it and it'll be like five years later and you'll still think about this one time and laugh about it and you don't it is not even funny unless you were there but you know what i'm talking about what is that for y'all stephanie what is it i missed what you said somebody on the talk to speech please t or text to speech or whatever please tell me <clears throat> i laughed at everything um i get like laughing <laughs> uh what did coco's arm just do i don't know i'm about to get rid of his giggle stripes though He's uncomfortably wet. Been there, done that. <laughs> um, well, if you're not ready to have that fixed, no worries. Have what fixed? What is happening here? Lord. 
don't know why it didn't work when Amanda Bob tried to. It's she's so she's been on her first surgery. First surgery. She scrubbed in to assist with her first surgery. That's what it said. They all just came through at the same time. The stuff you say count. Yeah, that counts for it, for sure. Congratulations on scrubbing in for your first surgery. That honestly sounds really scary. Obviously, I've never helped with surgery. Um, thank you, Ab, for the heartbeat. Uh, I did work in healthcare, but I've never done anything that wild, like work in a, you know, do a surgery. So that is uh, wild as hell. The taxi still makes me laugh. Like, the boot balloon thing. <laughs> Russell, this surgery stuff ain't... No, that's seriously cool as shit. Who is she about to massage? Why does it do this thing where they have to walk up there first? Oopsie. So. Okay, that was very quiet. Why do I have these petite burps? Someone help me and give me burp advice. Damn it. <sighs> it's so hard not to touch anything in the OR. You know what I stay touching? myself i can't do like i'm literally sitting here squeezing my own thigh while i play this game right now i'm over here just squishing my thigh why am i doing that i don't know scratching my face doing my nails twisting my earrings uh i can't play because of fit locker what uh, Pixie, do white claws make you burp? Ooh, I do have some white claws right now. I'm not really trying to drink tonight, but maybe Friday night I can try chugging a white claw. Ugh, chugging a white claw. Ugh, ADHD vibes. <laughs> you need something to fidget with? I actually have no fidget items. I've never thought about getting, like, a fidget spinner or anything, because I... I don't know. I was is he getting in the hot tub in the rain? ADHD baddies tap in. <laughs> and that's a fact. Oh no, he's coming. Oh, he's serious. He he said I am the main character. Wait. Um, do we have to talk about this now? <gasps> oh, I don't know what she was trying to talk to him about. But he said, "Um, do we have to talk about this now?" Oh, <laughs> well, 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 um, um, he's smiling, he, oh, I don't know how I feel about him having a grilled cheese in his hand, is this foreshadowing? I've read enough books to know that this might be bad. Check her moodlets, okay, hold on, I have to move my phone over again, because I can't see, there are little things, um, awkward encounter, oh, where can I hide, that was an awkward conversation, not bay material, from having the what are we talk. So she came up to him being like, what are we? And uh, did I just get friend zoned? Sure feels like it. She's very attracted to him. He's exploring his romantic boundaries. They're good friends. They have good compatibility and they're woohoo partners. Oh, this is an emotionally unavailable man. Oh my god, Minnie. Oh my god, this is a canon event. It cannot be interfered. She didn't like him anyways. Well, now she seems to like him. No, this is actually... This is that guy for her. They're woohoo partners that they fuck, but he doesn't like sure on like actually dating her but they vibe really well with the good compatibility and she's super attracted to him but he's out here exploring oh my god it is a canon event thank you olivia for the chili <sighs> emotionally unavailable on love island boss for me hi kayla uh been there girl <laughs> <laughs> like why i know when you tell your friends it's casual no this is toxic for real many um i'm gonna set up a new goal really quick hopefully nothing else happens in the second that i'm doing this um then she started like putting up and i thought she did but she ain't been talking to him at all this episode she ain't talked to him not one motherfucking time this episode she did steal puma away from dory you know what? And you're not wrong. Puma, what are you doing? I keep having to move my phone so I can see things on my screen. 
Puma, you need to come out here and talk to your girl. Oh, she looks so sad. She looks so sad. Oh, she's tore up right now. In the rainstorm, too. <sighs> she's like, it's fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. Thank you, Ab, for the song. Oh, and look who was watching the whole time. She said, yeah, I was, girl. <laughs> Thank you, Ab, for the sunglasses. Um, what about the Oedipus? Hiccup got some Oedipus stuff? What you mean? I thought the Oedipus complex is like, mommy issues. Is it not? Hey guys, sorry I'm late. You're fine, Ren. I'm glad you made it. Um, let me get it together, girl. Thank you, Ren, for the heart me. Nani like, this is great TV. <laughs> no, she really is. Nani said, nobody is taking Timon. No, 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 no. Orange block. Who was it that was trying to take Timon? Who's calling Hiccup now? I heard you became friends with Coco. Who the hell cares who Coco is friends with? Yes, mommy issues. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, wasn't it Orange Blossom trying to talk to, um, what's his face? But now it seems like Orange Blossom is kind of like looking at everybody on the island. Okay, y'all, we need to decide. Are we going to vote someone off tonight and vote somebody on? Or do y'all want to do a part two of Love Island tomorrow night? What do y'all think? Actually, one of the mods, can you do a poll for that really quick? Option one. Uh, what did I say the options were? I need a cigarette. <laughs> what did I just say? Part two, part two. Oh! Yes, 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 yes. The voting on, should we go ahead and eliminate someone tonight, or should we do a part two tomorrow? Yes, yes, yes. You know, sometimes I am like, maybe I should get the ADHD medication, but the other times I'm like, my sparkle. I like my- <gasps> Oh, Nar, girl! Oh, and she's smiling at Pumbaa. Girl, you don't know what you look like right now. You don't know what you look like. Y'all, the poll just went up. I saw it go across the screen. You don't even realize what you look like in front of him right now. He's still smiling at her, though. He's still smiling. And Orange Boss was smiling, too. She's like, girl, you look crazy as hell right now. Um, no, because I forgot the same time you did. It literally just, poof, gone. <laughs> like, I'll literally say something and then it is escape my brain. Girl... We gotta get rid of the giggle stripes. Who's calling Pumba? Oh, is she? Silver Mist is wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang out. Well, Silver Mist, you got kicked off of Love Island, so I don't know why you're, why you're calling people on the island now. If you want a Pumba, you should have been in there while you're on the island. Oh, oh my God! I just saw a Timon Ween for the second time. What the hell? This broke again. Replace it. Replace it. Is it broken? Oh, no, it's just it's broken. Excuse me. Coco, um, I feel like he's going to get kicked off the damn island because, Coco, um, you're really acting like this is a vacation. I'm not seeing you. Who's calling her now? Oh, my God, y'all. Should we let him come over? Thank you, whoever just sent the sunglasses. I missed it. I saw the sunglasses at the end. He is boring me tonight. And that's why, is that spot ruthless there? It's got like a little awning type situation. Buzz Lightyear wants to come over. Should we let him get his five minutes over here or not? He's like, please let me come to this house. Please. Thank you, Furniture, for the heart me. Um, let me look at the poll. I should be able to see the results on my phone, right? Like y'all can see it. Okay, yeah, it looks like everybody's voting. Thank you, British Center, for the sunglasses! Okay, Buzz, you can come over for right now. We're not adding you to the island, but you can't come- Oh, shit! That was a big one. That was a big one. Buzz Lightyear won't go away. He's serious about this island. They're over here talking. See, I feel like Nala is going to him for some advice. Now, don't forget that is a naughty's man uh orange blossom i was not trying to see you taking a shit right now but all right i gotta figure out what's going on with my censored mode because this stuff is not censored 
Aw, uh, the chair got hit by lightning. Good place. Mm, ooh, who wants to do a water balloon fight in the rain? Everybody! Water balloon fight in the rain. This could be so fun. Now, Buzz, be mindful of why you were allowed over. Mm -hmm. And now I don't even see him. Now I don't even see him anywhere. I have a question for y'all. Do any of y'all <clears throat> watch my videos, like, either on YouTube or TikTok or, like, watch these lives just to feel the inspiration to then play The Sims? Because thank you, Rin, for the beating heart! Whenever I first, not first, but throughout the years playing Sims, before I started making Sims content, when I wanted to play Sims but didn't feel the inspiration, I would watch a Sims video, like a video of someone playing Sims, and then, oh, not... Naughty busting her ass. And then I would be like, ah, now I feel like playing. Every time you play, it makes me want to play. <laughs> Thank you, Juliana. Thank you, Jacqueline. You inspired me to start Love Island. Period. Uh, I play the sounds while watching you. Every time I watch you, I want to play ASAP. Yes, you inspired me so much. I always wondered that because that's how, like what would make me want to play before is I would watch someone else play and then I'd be like, now I suddenly feel like, oh, now I suddenly feel like I need to play. Oh, she hit Pumba. So, it looks like currently playing and watching. You gotta be into Sims again. I feel like, you know, the whole, like, concept of an influencer, and, you know, they're mostly talking about people who sell, like, products, which I guess this technically is a product, but I've had this product for, like, 10 years now. I bought The Sims 4 in 2015, I think, but, um... And The Sims 4 is free, except for all the fucking expansions and stuff. But, um, 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 But the whole concept of an influencer, I guess it is, like, people, I do be getting influenced, damn. I do be getting influenced constantly! Const oh, who just hit Minnie in her shit like that? That was crazy. I'm just boring. You're not boring. I promise you, you're less boring than you think. Somebody would find your life interesting because I too feel like I'm boring sometimes and then people think my life is interesting. Um, and you influenced me to eat a sandwich after that one TikTok. I get influenced by food TikToks all the time. And you want to know what's crazy is? You want to know how crazy influencing is? I was not the one who started that sandwich train, okay? Uh, uh, what's that girl's name? Made me want a sandwich first. The girl, her boyfriend's name is William. What's that girl's name? The redhead girl? She made me want a sandwich first. Then I got a sandwich, made my video, then you wanted a sandwich. I do the same thing with books. Watching reading vlogs on YouTube makes me want to read. Aw, I start playing stuff because of your stream. Levi, oh yes, Levi. Levi. Her name's Levi. She had this video of her eating this delectable looking sandwich and I was like, fuck, now I need a sandwich. Now, I need you all to influence me into some books. Oh, I'll influence you. Don't you even worry. We're gonna get on our book shit here soon. Have y'all seen the role for Sandwich Guy? I don't even play D&D, but it's so interesting. No, I haven't seen that. Now I want a sandwich. <laughs> no, I haven't seen- I've never played Dungeons and Dragons, but I kind of want to. I just started fourth wing because of you. God, I love that book. God, I love that book. Um, you just got me to read fourth wing, and I hope you loved it. And I hope you loved it. You would slay a D&D. It looks fun. It looks like a lot of fun. I'm really excited that we're going to get to play Love Island again tomorrow night. I'm going to have to pick out an activity for them to do and like some dates and things for tomorrow night since we're going to, and then we're going to have a whole ceremony of people going home. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. I like the role for pizza too. I'm too dyslexic for D&D. &D. You actually influenced me to put myself out there and make my book talk. Oh, that's amazing. I love your content too. It pops up on my feed all the time. I love your book talk content. Y'all should follow her. She's making this really cutie book talk content. Uh, love playing Barbies with you. I'm too dyslexic to read. Oh, <laughs> well, if you read on um, your, if you get a Kindle or the Kindle app, they have a dyslexic mode for you to read on. That's what I do on my, if I read on my Kindle, which 
Amanda sent me her old Kindle and I've been reading on it. And uh, yeah, it has the dyslexia mode on there. Whose page was it? It was Shan's. Uh, I'm sure she'll comment again here in a second and you'll see. I think she was commenting from her book talk account too. You also influenced me to make a book talk. I don't see yours, Ashley. You need to tag me in one of your videos. I don't think I see yours on my feed. I'll follow her now. You should. Y'all should all follow each other. I think there is so much success to be had to go around, you know? It's so easy to just to follow somebody. It's free to follow them and try to help them, like, build their stuff. <clears throat> British Sarah just said something and it flew by so fucking fast, but she was talking about, she said, you all inspired me to, and I missed the rest of it. Damn it. Um, I'm basically a Pixarella stan account. No. <laughs> Amanda stays posting all the videos. I just repost them. I'm like, I love these. I love them so much. Drop me all the book talks on the Discord so we can follow. It's against, so... I'm gonna talk, I'll talk to the ministry about that because right now it's against the our Discord rules to drop TikTok accounts in the, uh, thing. Um, in the Discord. So, I'm kind of wary of doing, changing the rule. And it's kind of like you allow one thing and then people take it too motherfucking far. Um, so maybe on that one. Just because we had the one issue in the past, which I'm not going to go into great detail about it. But those of you who know, you know. Um, anywho. Uh, replace that toilet. Replace that toilet. Y'all make you feel comfortable uh, enough to make TikToks on my own. I'm glad. On my other account, I literally just post whatever the hell. <laughs> I'm almost at a thousand followers on that account. I literally just post the most random of shit. They're all going to sleep now because it's the middle of night. Everybody except for, uh, yeah, I think changing the rule might open up a whole thing. Yeah. So I don't know about change. Like the rules weren't. Also, just for those of you who are kind of new to my page, uh, let me explain to you something really quick. My, I have a ministry of magic. Um, basically, they're like a group of people that, first of all, watch streams a lot and uh, have differing opinions on things. They live in different parts of the country in different parts of the world, um, different age ranges and things like that. And uh, they're the ministry of magic and they vote on things um and they mod the discord account and everything like that but they vote on like they voted on what my patreon prices should be uh they vote on rules for the discord um they handle if someone's like broken a rule in the discord they discuss it and decide if someone's gonna be like warned or kicked out or whatever so uh and that's why it's such a big deal to be added to the ministry of magic because they hold a lot of power they vote on who the pixie of the month is stuff like that so anyways that's what i mean by the ministry of magic like that was one of the rules that they made was that you can't advertise uh like send links to other uh tiktok accounts and whatever just because we had the problem before that they had to deal with so yeah um thank you Ren, for the sunglasses we love our hardworking ministry no they do work so hard is what i'm saying like they are constantly having to deal with like y'all would not believe like they get messages around the clock they are constantly like watching the discord in case there are any bad guys in there <laughs> or any you know anything sketch happening uh in there they respond to people's messages anytime they have a problem or have a question or anything like that and they love doing it and they love being a part of the ministry and they're just all all of the people in the ministry are so sweet so amazing so uh amazing to be friends with and i love them so much i just appreciate them so much so yeah if you didn't know that was a thing it is a thing and if you want to read about the members of the ministry there's a section in the discord that says meet the ministry and um quick to respond yeah they respond super fast so yeah if you want to read about the women who are in the ministry uh definitely look in the section on discord that says meet the ministry and read their little bios and look at their pictures and stuff and they're super fun and definitely also for those of y'all not to bombard any of them with like i don't think any of them would mind or anything but if you're like trying to get into the discord to make friends all of those people would if you don't know where to start with making friends they would be good people to start with at least i think 
because I love being friends with all of them. So, anyways, um, obviously don't harass anybody. You know what I mean? Y'all know what I mean. Um, thank you, Ren, for the roses. I love the ministry. They're all amazing. They are. They're so amazing. Um, they're literally the best, and some of them are cl my closest friends here. That's what I'm saying. They are so nice. <laughs> they are all so fucking nice. Um, joined right at the end. I'm sorry, Elmi. I, I am going to be ending here basically right now. Um, why does it say my stream's only been going for 53? Oh, because I had to restart it. That's why. Um, um, thank you guys for 144,000 likes. Um, tomorrow night, let's make our goal 150,000. Um, no, but for real, every ministry member I've talked to is so nice. They are all so fucking nice. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed this live. Thank you to our top three gifters, Kelsey, Amanda, and Unicorn Farts. Um, I can't wait to see y'all tomorrow night for a part two to this episode. And I just hope you enjoyed it and everything. I love you so much. Good night.